Let's see. You all ready? You all ready to get up and start dancing? Can y'all hear that? Can you hear it? Yeah. Can you hear it? Oh my God, yes. yes. Yeah. Let's dance. Hey, Leo. Hey, sweetie. Hi. The party. Okay. Yeah, it's the gypsy song. I barely hear it, but I can. Okay. Yes. I love this music. Yes, Ange. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's feel it in the hips. In the hips. In my hips. In my yes, hips. In my hips. Let's find it. Yeah, my hips are like, why? <laughs> oh, I know. Slow hips, slow. Oh, yeah. Woo! Let's hey! Wake, let's wake up that body. Yeah. technical difficulties. I love it. Any chance or opportunity that we get to put in practice what we do, we do what we do. I love it. We do what we I'm do. Like, I'm like, do we do we do. they got this. I'm good. I was. And I was like, yeah, just take care of everything. The spirit was saying, all right, now plug that in. Put that here. No, you don't need that one. Use this one. That was just, all right. Thank you, Father. That's right. And he said, now put them in. Don't worry about that. You need to air. It was something. It was taking me through like the whole the steps. And I'm so happy that I was listening. So happy I wasn't getting like, oh, or nothing. That was awesome. Technical difficulties are great. Good learning experience. So what were you all speaking about? I Wait, heard, let's, I heard back it up. Funny... let's back it up. You just dropped something right there, boo. You can't just be saying that and not expounding. Eh. Who heard that? Who heard that? Technical yeah. difficulty, difficulties if I can talk today. Okay, yeah, I'm a little off today. <laughs> okay, got me like, what? You trying to detox? Let's just go ahead and just take a thousand years of detox and let's remove it in one day. I'm like, no, but I'm in a whirlwind. <laughs> you know, I'm saying all that stuff. So, <laughs> so said, I love technical difficulty. Yes. That was okay. fire. That was okay. fire because I mean, what you just said is that's our that's our catalyst. That's different lessons. That's different beautiful beautiful opportunities to grow, to learn of ourselves, to uh, to show kindness to someone else. Because yeah. uh, uh, you could even say a trigger is a technical difficulty. Okay, I'm gonna get that word right today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He got a good 50 minutes. You got this. You got this. Whoa, man. I mean, oh my gosh. So, okay, I told you the, the energies, right? So, so being triggered, is, mm -hmm. I'm going to say a TD. There you go. It's a TD. Yeah, okay. It's a TD. <laughs> let's Everybody. Make, let's make an acronym, okay? I'm, you know? I'm TD. Right, I'm going to handle TD. my TDs today. I'm going to handle all my TDs today. Oh, Are you saying TD? TD. My guys are so funny. I just want to say that. I know, right? I fought to the guys. <laughs> We're detoxing. By the way, to, to, for everybody out there, I mean, yeah. they know what TD is. TD used to be my other job, the one that I was removed from uh, to do what I do because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You see how funny that is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. We are not there to do any kind of CPR or Heimlich or anything. Did you, see, did you see the realization? Did you see it? Did you see she was? I love it. That's life, you all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, when they I tell you when they take over, they take over. <laughs> <laughs> They're 
there's no, there's no, like, I'm going to give you some time so you can continue to bring it back. No, no, no. We're going to take the talk tonight. Yeah. Today. Today, today. Go oh ahead. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hold on a minute. I'm sorry. I just let it know. Oh, I love that. Yes. That is hilarious, Jesse. <laughs> you see, it's like sometimes I'm by myself with them and I'm like, how? how? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, there's together. Oh, that was. I love it. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. After a technical difficulty, yes. getting our life together after a technical difficulty, you know, glitched in our lives. Yes. I was just supposed to supply the word. Because while, wow. while I was telling, being told to do this, this, and I'll do that, no, 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 your laptop, forget about the computer there. Now plug your things in because I was going to turn off the air conditioning. He said, no, 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 you need that. Don't be hot. Put this in. I said, oh, yes, thank you. And I'm just. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking the song, where my girls at, eh, 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 where my girls at, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was just putting everything, right? Patricia. Next thing I know, it said, technical difficulties are great. And I said, you know what? They sure are. Thank you. Technical, technical difficulties are great. That's right. We, we have them all the time. And they're to level us up. Whatever you call your TD, all right? Oh, no. Everybody affirm and hashtag that. Hashtag it. I want you to hashtag it today on Instagram. I want you to affirm it on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere that you put it, wherever you got yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm handling my TDs. So, <laughs> Technical difficulties. Right. I know, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. I need, to, I need to do that today. I'm handling yes. my TD. I'm handling mine. What about y'all? Are you all handling your technical difficulties, your TD? You handling it? Tiff, you got it together now. You all right, girl? <laughs> I love that. That was so healing, Tiffany. Don't you feel great? Don't you feel okay. great? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I honestly did not expect to laugh so hard at that I, I didn't know what was gonna come out of your mouth Jesse <laughs> and I'm always just ready for it but that that got me yeah I just love that whole thing and especially because you're always talking about how they are so funny mm-hmm and this one was just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and and um <clears throat> and mm. deep as well. Yeah, right. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just I love it. And it just reminds me of um you know that the thing that, that I've talked about a few times that I'm um, bringing myself back into again and yeah. it just reminds me of Angela I've had those experiences too technical difficulties and but but they were talking to me and guiding me through. And it was like, oh, okay, okay. And it just like, it just flowed. And, and, and it was beautiful that, that relationship. And, and, I, and I'm saying this because for everybody else watching and, and, and listening, I know that at some times it may feel like some of the things that these three amazing queens say is just like out there <laughs> and it is out there like literally it's out there but just just know that it's 
it's not something that's not attainable for any of you as well. And I'm saying that because, because I've, I've been there. And I, and I know how it feels. That's why I laugh so hard at Jesse's guides because <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's having, it, it had such a deep effect on Jesse because that one was a long time in the making that, that, where she was working didn't just happen yesterday. And, and to be able to connect something from, from that long ago, and it can even happen for further back too, you begin to see more of the, the web. Yeah. How everything is connected. Um, wow, a deep web, a deep web, a yeah, deep web. no, it's, oh, but, and we can all create that, you know, the, I, yeah. the reason why I feel, and my guides tell me all the time, but the reason why I wasn't um, furthering my, my spiritual experience here was because I was afraid, and afraid of what? Afraid of something or someone or the universe that it, that treats me so well um because we are the one that create the blocks okay. because we are not listening wow. we don't listen because we are afraid of the listening wow, wow, wow. we are afraid afraid of the listening and and that's what society wants us to be afraid of the listening because if we truly listen to it then you find that, you know, all along you've been on a path of like, whoa, that's deep. Okay, well, let me go this way. Like I was telling Dee uh, earlier before Edge got in the, in, in the conversation was that last night, I, it was so, like, I can tell when I'm in line, aligned with what I'm supposed to be doing with my purpose in life of what I came into this planet to do, to help women, to help, you know, to help the world, right, uplift but mainly to work with women, to know that they have, they're our goddesses, they're queen, they're amazing, and that, that we are, we have been put into this, you know, close our eyes, don't do that, no, women are supposed to do this, and no, we're supposed to be free and amazing and great, right, and that is something that my guys reminded me last night, and I so I was so dear about my, my goddess guy. That's the reason why, you know, the goddess herself gave me that, you know, so that I could experience self-love at a different level, at a spiritual level, which is really, truly loving yourself for what you truly are. And that is energy, you know? And if you, and if, if you can become positive energy or you can become negative energy and know that when you do negative, when you become the negative energy, your body, your physical body feels it. And I was, I was there, I was telling Dee, like when I first started uh, my yoga uh, process, because of my awakening process, my guys put me on a certain regimen, which was taking a spiritual bath because my body was in so much pain and really loving my body really like so what you were talking about yesterday Tiff, is exactly what my guides put me on so like really loving myself with oils really loving myself with um with sugar scrub and you know really touching myself and letting my my body this physical that you are amazing and you know what you're healing through this 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 craziness of the world you're detoxing from stress from trauma from tribulations from everything that people put on to your body now you're doing it for yourself and that is what self-care really really is it's this deep connection and this is why you know now we have the pussy priestess and she's coming soon back in the house. Yes, 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 yes. To teach us more about loving our body and going deep within that we have to understand that all of these beautiful things all go together and then you can be happier and 
you know, without blockages, but it takes time to love yourself. You know, it takes, it takes not time, but it takes um, you loving yourself. It takes us loving ourselves. Oh, we covered it, all of the little pieces in one. Yes, we did. Thank you. Yeah, it, it takes that to to de-school or to unlearn, unlearn the things that are put on you. You know, not only on all the way to the atom level, I will say, you yeah. know. So once you begin that detoxification, you know, because I was writing Jesse as you were speaking, and we we are helping women to tap into or to remember, because that's what it is to remember your fire, remember your goddess energy, remember your I mean your yoni is a portal to this dimension. What? And you don't it's think you, right? you know what I mean? And even if you decide not to have children, nevertheless, it's still a portal. <laughs> you were still that is a that's a portal. Oh my gosh, what it's you know? It's a magical so, portal. It's a yeah. magical portal. I was that's why I, was, I explained it to my niece yesterday that she was having a spiritual bath and she's only seven. And I was, you know, I put bubble, I can't go, like your, your babies, you know, your babies, you can put them at whatever age. It's a bubble back to them. But to you, you know, it's a spiritual connection with the water in their body. It's an element, the water element. And you're asking the water to give you the guidance and the wisdom and, you know, the love that you're right now are not giving yourself. But, you know, yeah, so she was, the, you know, flowers, crystal, she was there experiencing her, her goddess mode, and I played music for her, and she, you know, I read a book while she was enjoying her bath, and that became a, my scent room, but, you know, because my bathroom is my scent place, so her mother called, and she's like, what are you doing, and I was like, yeah, no, we're here, how are you taking this bath, she's like, that's why she loves bath at your house so much. I said, yeah, boo, because it's it's a vibe. It is a vibe. <laughs> Go ahead, Dee. Um, I was thinking too, because when you said she's only seven, <laughs> you know, it, oh my gosh. There is no age limit here. There is well, no age limit. Right. Well, well there's no gender. I mean, she, she, she's so you can suit that means it. Yeah, she's seven here in this reincarnation, but she's a thousand years old. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so don't limit, don't limit anybody, any 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 entity that's here that's on this plane with you, regardless if they're quote unquote six months old or sixty mm -hmm. years old. Because <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I look at them as people and spirit, you know? I talk to them too. Sometimes uh, people look at me, why are you talking to that baby? Uh, because she can hear me. She, she has can something hear to say. And as I'm talking, they're just like, they, I don't have the words right now, but you you understood me, yes, girl. Been here, done that. Yeah, how you doing? And they just get so like happy that you are talking to them. You know, that you are communicating, vibing, your, your body language, your voice, everything, you know? Because they're people, they're spirits, they're spirits. It's why, and, and um, we don't call um, babies um, innocent, because they've been here before. They've been here before, they have a world, they just have to learn it again. Remember, the, the concert pianist, the five-year-old, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. been here before, been here, done that. And all they had to do was be taught. And they reconnected. They were like, oh, they're a music teacher. We just spent an hour a day. And next thing I know, the next week she was, oh my gosh, she picks it up so quick. She's a prodigy. Then she had done that. Show me the next chapter. I just needed to be reconnected. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, show your daughters. Show your daughters. Yeah. I'm learning how to love oh, myself. I'm learning how to do this and learning how to feel and see what who Angela is you know what I mean and the girls and I a couple days ago wow I can't believe this is actually coming up I needed that the other day girl 
I needed that. I cried. Oh my gosh. Love you so much. I cried like a ugly cry. That's an ugly cry. That's what they call ugly cry. Finally had one, y'all. Because I, I did not connect to that. And not I'm not talking about this either. I just didn't connect to that about me. Everything was all outside and connected to me as a woman and knowing how do I feel. You know what I mean? I'm not there yet. I'm just happy I'm able to say it without ugly crying like I did the other day. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm listening to my sisters, listening to your experiences, what you do. I was doing the motions because everybody said this is what women do, but I had no connection to the, I had no connection to the information. No, no, I didn't say no connection. I mean, I say no connection. I have very little. It was very slight. So now I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm being curious like we talked about yesterday. I'm exploring myself as a woman, you know, and seeing, and, and seeing me and who I am. So yes, do that with your daughters, no matter how young, you know, with your children, who, boys or girls, please. Yes, connect them to their hearts. Let them see themselves know themselves and love themselves yeah no ages no ages no ages something that you said angela that, that yeah okay. <laughs> um you you said that you didn't connect to basically the definition or the example the label yeah. of a woman and this this is a learning mm -hmm. This is a learning moment for everyone. This is another reason as to why that our, everyone around us, allow them to be who they are and learn their own definition of words and let them be and let them do. Because when we start to say to them that, okay, this is, this is how a woman looks. This is, this is what, a, a man looks like, or this this is what a quote unquote this race look like, or or this is how Chinese people talk. No, let them figure it out and find the definitions because mm -hmm. when we do that, we put those boxes that Jesse was saying that day. We put them in a box. We put them in a limiter. And just think, Angela has been all her life trying to live up to this def someone else's definition of a woman and she literally faulted and judged herself because she wasn't living up to their definition of that. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it so I thought something was wrong with me. Yes. I, I didn't feel it. Even when it came down to, to sex, you know, how I was supposed to feel, what my body was supposed to be doing and I'm like, yes. I don't feel what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Even someone, someone okay, had we'll get there. Very, I know, right? <laughs> That's what the guys are saying. It's okay. We'll get there. <laughs> looking, forward, looking forward to it. Looking forward, really looking forward to that. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, someone called me a very rude name because I had sex late in life. And um, they told me that I was a disgrace to womanhood. I was like, come again? Just because right? I'm not being a hooker out there? <laughs> a Why in the world? Now, I had enough sense to tell him where to go. It was a guy. I had enough sense to tell him where to go. But he said it in a public chat, you all. I wasn't just, like, meeting somebody and he found out that I, you know, wasn't sexually active and stuff like that, being over 30, you know what I mean? And um, he said it in a public chat. He came into a woman's chat. And because I was sharing my world to the other women to respect your body. And if you don't feel it, you don't do it just because the world is saying it. You know what I mean? He and I, I told him, yeah, I'm 30 something years old and I haven't experienced this yet. And he was like, you're a disgrace to women. Well, women everywhere. That's what he said. I was like, what the? <laughs> I said some choice oh, words. I, 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 I said some choice Oh, the other women, they, they, they weren't having it. They weren't having it. They was like, get out. I don't know how you got in here, but I have to tell the truth. That really hit me beyond my anger. That hit me. Because I was like, wow, something wrong with me. Yeah. You know, it's, no, something, no. it's something wrong with me. And this is why, the, the, and that's how the, the, the events, 
build up into our lives and then we become you know boxed and then that's why we don't love on ourselves the way that we supposed to love on ourselves because we let that box trap you trap us so we're out of those boxes now are you excited because you couldn't talk about it before i have some stories you want to hear some stories now Yeah, we're gonna have story time with Ange one day so that she can tell. Yeah. The story. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I would love to confront my yeah, yeah. I'll tell him later. <laughs> Guys, who's up for some dancing? Because I'm up Woo! for some dancing. Who wants to dance? I, I have it. Dancing. You all ready? You all ready to get up and start dancing? Can y'all hear that? Can you hear it? Yeah. Hear it? Oh my God! Yes. Yeah. Let's dance. Hey Leo! Hey sweetie! The party! I barely hear it, but I'm okay. Yes, I love this music. Yes, Ash, let's get it. Let's feel it in the hips. In the hips. In my hips. In my yes, hips. in my hips. Let's find it. Yeah, my hips are like, why? <laughs> oh, I know. Slow hips, slow. Oh, yes. Woo! Hey. Let's wake up that body. Yes, Patricia. Amanda's killing it back there, Leo. Yes. And if you're live with us, come and dance. Come and dance. You're on the replay. You know what you gotta do. This is the girls doing their thing on a Saturday. Feel it. Be you, be you, love you. What? Awesome. You guys. I like that. (laughs) Where my girls at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see you, my girls. All right, I'm turning around. You guys do your thing. Oh, I see you. (laughs) The sun has followed you. I knew it was going to find you. I knew it was, it was coming. It mm-hmm. was coming. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love to move. I love to move. I didn't see the replay of, um, of the alignment meditation when we were dancing. Has any, did anyone see that yet? Look at themselves again. You have? I have to go. The spirit told me to go see it because I don't know if you guys don't. Oh know. yes, I, we we did some we did some we did some codings there. Yes, 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 yeah. some body codings. I wasn't there. I really wasn't there. I was actually with women, and the spirit told me I hadn't seen these women before. But yes, I have. But they, all right, they were you all in another life with me dancing and it was awesome we don't make this stuff up it was it was tribal women and i want to go look at it because i actually wasn't myself well here i was there and um yeah i was naked i was naked i was naked and i was wondering i was wondering if um i did something Go back and look at it. Did anyone see it? Did, did you see it, Tish? Did she go back and look at it when we were dancing? Oh, oh by the it, hold on, Tiff. And by the way, if you're not in our alignments chat and you are a beautiful yes. goddess, you come and join us because we do back end things where we go really, really deep. We go deep, we go real deep, and you know the goddess herself, Queen B. Takes us every time on a ride. And if we, if Queen B is not available, guess what? 
the kingdom takes over feminine flame you know what it is we are a kingdom of beautiful queens and we come together to love on ourselves yeah. every single day so go ahead Tim just you know disclaimer for all the queens in the kingdom so they can come <laughs> I love that um okay what was the question what was I saying did you did you see it did you see the replay of oh all yeah the dancing? The, the dancing was that um let me think I think I did see that that was just the other day I was dancing in my kitchen Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but you all didn't see me because I don't think I came on camera, did I? I don't know. I don't, no. I, don't I don't know. I was on a journey. I was on a journey. But yeah. if, you, if, you have to, if you happen to have some free time and you need some, some uh, coatings, recoding going back and, and watch that because that was deep I you know my my body was taken over by you know that person that she speaks of um in 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 one of my uh, life by the way we are Tainos and we are naked that's hey. my tribe that's my tribe um that's where we come from and we usually are naked yeah we're naked well, there you um, go our faces are covered right here sometimes or we have the tribals here and my uh the goddess <laughs> she wow. is very like her hair is out there and I got to see her last year in my awakening process you know my grandfather took me on a journey to meet her and she was taking out her sores and her you know so Ooh. when 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 Queen Bee herself took us on that journey one time and she's like take out your sores I knew mm. what sores she was talking about I was like, okay <laughs> yeah so yeah awesome wow. I'm glad you mentioned that one too oh, okay. Jesse because when she because she had us we pulled the sword out of our thigh and that day she she said, I don't know why I have dual swords, but I have dual. I'm like, I'm with you, boo. I was cutting it. So yes. So listen, try to try to go back and watch any of them. Yeah. I would say the last two weeks it has been so many codes, so much yeah. weaving, so much, you know, so so much weaving. Um and then for Amanda and Patricia, we know that both of you are new to that chat. So just, you know, look up scroll up and listen, watch some of the, the replays of the alignment meditations, as well as watch some of the, it's either two or three Yoni size replays too, because we really um, get in touch with our sacral, with our with our Yoni, and it's, it's really amazing. It's really, really amazing. And we do some things that probably normally, well, me personally, I don't do, you know, I mean, as far as moves, but it, it helps you to tap into your true self, the feminine, your sexuality, your sensuality, you know, your goddess vibe, you know, your fire. <laughs> so, yeah, check, check those out, too. Check those out, too. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's something because this past month, you said you said two weeks, right? Right, Dee? Yeah. The codes um, have been off the yes. chain coming in and then coming into this uh, new moon, it's been just like a, a purge, right? Everything that we have been seeing, everything that we've been hearing and feeling has been rewriting the script, you know? It's been breaking down a lot of stuff that shouldn't be there. Like purifying, purifying and resetting, purifying and relaying. It's been, it's been something, it's been something. And it, it's been going fast. It's been going really fast. The lunar and then evolution, some, that's why. Lunar, yes, yes, I like that. Yes, well, her guide said lunar revolution, and that's what it is. And um, I know women are feeling changes around the world, and it's, it, it taps into what Dee was saying. I mean, excuse me, what um, Yesenia was saying about sometimes we don't want to listen because it, there's, there's a set fear of coming out of what you're used to being all right, we're, we're professionals at what we used to do, what we normally do, we're professionals. It feels like it, oh no, 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 no. So we have an aversion to what goes against the grain. But if it feels like it's going against the grain and something's grinding, follow that. That's what you're hiding from. Because we're professionals at what we've been doing. 
And if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always got. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this month okay. is awesome for women. Awesome. Right. Right. I was going to say that I saw that that um, Tiff put on the chat that she's never done steam. Um, the only steam before. And I haven't either. But my guys are so funny. They want to remind me that they took me to a place where I was going to do. Uh, or they show me a glimpse of what my studio is going to look like or, you know, of, of you know, what this goddess kingdom is going to look like. And there was a, a, a Yoni scene there and the, the lady that gave me this in the background, <laughs> I'm telling you, they're funny, um, the, they gave me this in the background. I, you know, I, I assisted with some, um, some of her ancestors to speak to her uh from her son <laughs> her son called upon me <laughs> and i came and when i went to her studio she had um she she's from um houston texas and she had um she had a studio where they had the, the yoni scene and she's like oh yes this is this is a vibe uh, people, women come here uh it's saturdays and sundays to get their to to get their yoni plants and I was like, what? That is the thing, huh? I did I didn't even know that there was a thing. I, you know, I, I I haven't met um I haven't met you guys yet. But you know, spirit says like you you know, this is something that you you're gonna be talking about later on. So get acquainted with it. And I was there like oh, this is how it works, huh? You know, she asked me if I wanted to do uh, one, but because I was there for something else, you know, spirit said no. Let's not do that. Let's do. Let's do what we came to do, and, and we have to go. Uh, because she had. She also had other other things, and you know, she was just saying, "Do you want to try it?" Because I was there for the for the first process, and so yeah. So I I said no. So I can't wait for us to try that because that's that's a vibe and experience on on its own. And, and I wish you. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Me too. <laughs> I wish you right. We gonna be all chilling, chatting and stuff. Girl, what you doing? Girl, I'm looking at this book and stuff. You know, you <laughs> right, right, right. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of chatting in the chat, meaning the chat on Zoom for everyone who's watching us live on Facebook. Sorry, you should have came, you should have came live. You could have been, you could have been chatting on Zoom. So, hello, you know, for next time, right? Yes, I called you out. Okay, so. <laughs> It's love. It's it is with love. I really do love you. <laughs> right, right. Your best friend. Not your friend, but your best friend. So um also I want to share with the with the queens here. We're chatting in the chat, but you can unmute, sweeties. You are on the big screen with us to also be able to unmic and talk if you feel comfortable. Um, yeah. so uh, Amanda, would you actually asking your question about cleansing and we can go into that we can talk about cleansing the yoni yeah i just wanted to know see i was i don't know how to explain this or how far back to go but i was always like when you're with a boyfriend that's the one you hook up with you don't go around sleeping around and then at one point i turned into a hoe i don't know what happened I don't know what happened and then that's when I kind of had Liam and then that the universe was like mm, you need to just stop and I haven't had sex since last year but I feel like I need to get rid of maybe some things from like past like boyfriends like 10 years ago 15 like I feel like that needs to come out just trying to figure it out and like these are the yoni size so just curious if there's still like lingering energies I guess anyone okay, else so uh, your uh, your spirit guides are saying uh it's not that you were it's not that you were or uh, 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 lucy lucy no no no. you were experimenting you were experimenting with your body you were finding out what you wanted and what you didn't want it um that on um, that sense but on a spiritual level right now that we know right we, d we didn't know before now we know right so now that's what you're feeling like you have to there's this energy that you have to let go one of the episodes that we're we were in with toria um i don't remember what episode was that but the episodes that we were with toria she uh we touched on that and we also went into the products that she used to to detox 
from her old relationship. So that's right there. But there's also your goddess back that you can do uh, with the Himalayan saw, with the um, with a few other things. Actually, <laughs> my guides want to remind me that I that I want that I that this is something that I will that I do. So I will be I I will have a product on 2023. I want to say for this. This is coming. Um, where it, it's your bath that I that I that you receive from me will have all of these things. But for now, the guys want to share that you can do the Himalayan bath, that you can do um uh the yoni size uh uh workout. So boom, step one. Uh you go ahead and you do that dance, the yoni size dance with the queens, with and she's gonna help you on that level. Step two, get yourself some oil and start loving on yourself. Step three, you can do the bath, the goddess bath, by, um, by some flowers, by some Himalayan salt, um, some oils. And basically, this bath is going to be the bath that it's cleansed you. So every time you do this, it will cleanse you, and it will, it will, it will take you to the next level. Um, and then the yoni stuff that we're going to be speaking with with Nicole, that this is this is what we're doing every single time. But if you want to go back now, this these will be the step for you. Um, anything else? Yeah, just love on yourself and really take the take this this time for you guys for you guys to to get. So that when you come back into the, um, there's also a song for you um, from Tony that you should listen to is Yoni Size um, when you're doing your bath so that you can get deeper into um, what the Yoni cleansing is and what your goddess codes are. Also goddess code um, for you. Yeah, and enjoy the time. Enjoy the time with yourself. If you if you bought warm, very warm water, like that you like the water that you almost cannot get in there, you know, like that one. So you can let your whole body like really simmer in there, and yeah, um, our body loves hot water because it knows what it does to the body. You know, it cleanses it on a deeper level, on a deeper level. And it, it, it hugs your body. It hugs your body um, if you feel it. And if you if you are one of those queens that enjoys some uh, herbal medicine, please consume the herbal medicine before the bath. You know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You consume the medicine first. And you get the vibe. Don't forget to cleanse your, your bathroom before you get in there and, and putting all these things together for yourself. Um, the moon bath will, it, 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 the moon on the 19th will be amazing for you to prepare this bath for yourself. Get your crystals ready. Get your, you know, that's why we're talking about it right now so that you can go into a really deep. The ladies will, will have also an event right here. That will give you into this this mode but this this is your kickstart to what you want to accomplish in 2022 so you're going to put in your affirmations you're going to put in your oh this is going to go on a this is like a a a manifesting portal like the ladies said before your yoni is the key to the kingdom of the universe. It is that deep. So we're, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll prepare uh, from now until then. And, and, and oh man, why is this so deep? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second, please. I just, I just wanted to add something while she's getting it together that, um, yes, when we have sex, that's why I think it's so, so, so important. When we have sex, we share. We share a part of ourselves. Everything is energy. And we take from our partner as well. So, yes, making that decision of who you join 
with, who you come together with. It's a very important decision. And thank you. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you so much. Well, well, thank you so much. She's back. She's back. <laughs> this is okay. So, um, yes, that because when you now you, this is the time for you and you're cleansing everything that you, you know, that you no longer want. And then when you come into your king, right? He, if he, this is not something that he does, you're going to bring him in with you on these beautiful paths. You're going to introduce this back to him and you're going to allow him to be who he is. Oh, I didn't do this before, but it's okay. We're going to bond here. I'm going to help you on this process. It's okay. And then you know what's going to, it's going to turn into, right? But it's going to be on a deeper energetic. This is going to be on an energetic love that we're going to create for each other. This is going to be a healing pool for us and for our relationship and for what we do and for what we bring to the to the to the table, right? Yes. Oh, thank you. I mean, we're complete here. We're complete. <laughs> Amanda, I want to also add to um, me personally. I I was searching for things outside of my body, basically. You know, um, in in that point in my life, I was, um, my father wasn't there. So I was searching for that masculine energy and I received it in any package. <laughs> but, it, but it wasn't, it was just something, it was a void, I thought, because I was looking for it outside of me. So I wasn't a hoe, I was searching. You know, I was searching, I was longing, I was trying to establish something outside of my body that they they could, no one could ever feel because my one and only love is me. So that means your one and only love is you. So, and then to piggyback on what Angela said, when a man, I mean, like she said, it's energy. And, that, and when he deposits his semen into you, your, your, our, our yoni is powerful. Um, it, it absorbs is where I'm going. So his seed was literally absorbed into your body. Do you get that? It, your body absorbs it and takes it and his seed, his sperm becomes a part of your body. So his DNA becomes a part of your body is that deep so do all those things that um jesse said you're in the right place the lioness collective chat and i'm saying this for you and everyone else watching the lioness collective chat we're learning all about those things how to how to heal our yoni from the different events and things that we didn't realize what that's that energy there that's that could be stuck or stagnant in addition to that we just didn't really remember you know the power of our yoni and what it does so um okay what else i was gonna say <laughs> um so no one's a hoe i want to say it again no one's a hoe regardless if you had sex at 10 or if you had sex at 30 or 50 if you waited or didn't no you made the decision the best decision that you could make at that time where you were and even if you decide to still make that same decision tomorrow you have the choice to we're here to show you guys and share our own experiences and what we've learned and our, you know, um, but we want you all to also to experiment, to know yourself, to find your truth, find your truth. Um, let me see what else. Oh yeah. Two things. <laughs> I know light bulb. <laughs> When you have 
sex with that individual that you're not only physically vibe with, but energetically vibe with. I've been doing a lot of research on this lately. You literally open a portal. It's almost like you dimension hop. It's, it's a state of meditation, third eye meditation, like you have never experienced. Because not only are you one physically, you're one energetically. Your third eye opens, it's fire, okay? <laughs> it's something that you cannot get. However, however, okay, two more things. <laughs> however, us as- Disclaimer from the guys. <laughs> right, right. I was gonna say females, but no. However, when you take that oil that Jesse was speaking of, and make sure that you're using the oil that is matching and will not disturb the pH of your yoni. Coconut oil does not disturb the pH of your yoni. If you get any type of massage oil, make sure that you talk to whoever you're buying it from, that it is kosher and it is vegan because you don't Remember, our, our yoni absorbs, it, it absorbs so much. And you know how when you do different e oils or tink, tink trips or whatever, and you can drop it right here and how it goes to your bloodstream, our yoni is the same. So you don't want to put things in there that will harm your body, basically. You're harming your cells, you're killing them. Okay, so make sure that you're using things that aligns with your body. So whenever we masturbate, you can also tap into that portal too. I found out recently, I think, I think there's five different orgasms that a, a female can have. I just found that out literally like a month ago. Angela's face was like, whoa. <laughs> she said, what? <laughs> yes. And you know how they talk about our G spot. We that's not the best. And they 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 will talk about that, but there's so many spots within the within the canal that we can that if you tap into it, we we also as women will go to those different dimensions and bliss. It'll be straight bliss. Um, and a man can do it too. So there's there's so much. It's so much. It's so so much. And I'm I'm glad. And, ooh ooh ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> and like just with that with that orgasmic energy, we are manifesting goddesses. <laughs> that is the kingdom. Yes. And there was something else, but it's gone. It'll come back, and then I'll I'll share. I'll share. Oh my God, D, I, uh, I didn't mean to put you off, but this is this is going to be a great conversation for tomorrow because we're going to go deep. We're going to talk about those five orgasmic moments that you can find in your body because we're going to bring it out we might even have some pictures to show you tomorrow we might have pictures so please stay tuned for tomorrow's show because on self-care day we're going to bring you that spiritual self-care day so that you can tap into that energy boo we're going to tap into that energy so well that your vision board is going to have to it's going to need an upgrade you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're going to have to upgrade your vision board. You're going to have to upgrade your vision board because that is how deep into the portal of the universe, into the portal of your universe, yes, we're your going to go in. I That's have some deep things yeah. to share about that. So, yeah. Yes, you see? Yes, yes Patricia. We have a I experienced both of them with someone. And then on myself, like I was laying in bed and huge feminine sexual energy came up and I was like, what the hell is going on? I am alone. Nobody like spirits and stuff like that, but it was very powerful. And I did not experience that alone. 
so I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> but uh, then I found out you can do sex magic on yourself, like sexual energy to draw it up to your third eye and sending intentions to the universe. Yeah. And I was like, that's powerful. Yes. So powerful, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go deep, deep into that conversation tomorrow. Willow, take it away because we are that hour away. Oh, yes, we are. We, we are. are heading it to the, to, you know, to the other dimension, which is the meditation with the queen herself. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. so, yeah, Willow, take it away. And tomorrow we will see you here for oh, orgasmic yes. energy. I cannot wait for tomorrow. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Everything, you all just like set up all these synapses in my head. And now, yeah, you're putting so many puzzle pieces together. And I know other women are feeling this and other men too. They're like, wow, I want to know this about myself. This is going to be awesome and amazing for tomorrow. Are we going to have a card for today? No card for today. Everyone, you, this is a time that we have, we can have last word. You could say a Oh, word. no, wait, wait, oh, wait, yes. wait a yes, minute. Yes, yes. I'm so sorry. The I'm sorry. The guys have changed her mind. Like, wait a minute. We have I was on the portal. They did, they did pull out a car for us. They pulled out a car for us before. Awesome the sauce. Moon deck. Awesome sauce. Take it away. From the moon deck, her, the goddess herself. You know how it is. You know, if you're going to go yeah. to the goddesses, you're going to go straight to the source of things. So That's if right. you're That's right. Bam. Wow. Awesome sauce. Basta a time. For healing, a time for healing you, Yoni, ladies and gentlemen. Get in there because the energies are going to be amazing for tomorrow. If you missed today's show, please watch this on replay and come back tomorrow because the queens are getting the energy right from the place, from the source where they need to have the energy from. Yes, yes. The moon herself is the one guiding this situation. This little yoni experience of life. Yep, 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 yep. You know how it is. So pulling this card this mo this very moment suggests, however, wherever you are, step into the into the portals of life. Mm. Healing is required, right? But it's okay. It's okay. Your girls right here, they got you. They got you. Because they know they have the key to the kingdom already. And yeah, we're, we talked about it all, all day, all day, all day. So yeah. Um, however, before you take the next step, make sure that both you and that situation feels healed. Mm -hmm. Right? Before we move on and say, oh yeah, that's healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we're patching, if it's coming back and coming back, let's, let's get deep so we can let that go. So we can elevate. This is why the guy said elevation, right? This is the elevation moon. This is the moon that is going to take us to the next level. And if we're going to the next level, the things that we, you know, it's like a video game, right? You don't take your bag baggage to the next level on your video game. So think about it. In the game of life, you don't take your baggage because the next level We'll have amazing things, amazing things to explore. Wow. If you continue to bring in those baggages, that's why you can excel on the level that you're in. Wow. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to sue them both yourself and anyone else in need. Yeah. Get into your, to your yoni practice, ladies. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Power, powerful insights are happening. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card reminds us to surrender. Start to work on the beliefs in your dreams so that you're ready and your time, and your time will come. Mm. Attune to the moon. When one is healed, all are healed. And we don't bring that into, into our kids, into whoever we, we sit with, and to, we know we sit in our power. So whenever they, 
bring in that craziness, you'll be like, mm -hmm. no, I'm gonna just stay here and observe. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here. Witness. You carry your stuff. Hi, how are you? Yeah, from a distance, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you, but you know, energy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how the situation will look if everyone was healed. Oh. If everyone was healed, how would your kingdom look? Mm. If you don't like your bathroom right now, babes, it's okay. Visualize the bathroom you want. So I can come. Mm. Patience is required at this time. It is time to self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for a new moon. The new moon is coming in the, on the 19th. This is why we're preparing you. Which is just around the corner, right? It's a few days away. I mean, times are flying right now. No matter which point in the current moon cycle you have pulled this card, it reminds us to go a little bit easy on ourselves. No, you see how, you know, Amanda earlier said something and our guys just collectively hugged her and said, no, boo, that was what you, what you were there at the time. You know, that's the time you didn't know what you didn't know. But now that you know, you're responsible for your energy, right? <laughs> we are responsible for that. But if we didn't know before, it's okay. We didn't know. And now we know, right? And we love on each other. We, we hug on each other. And we give each other patience and compassion. Because we didn't know. It was, it, it's okay. The time to step into your and creative power will come soon enough. Yeah. That powerful force that we're speaking about, that we're going to speak about tomorrow and this beautiful, beautiful show. Give yourself the time you need. Do not forget about the patience and the, you know, make it sort of like a game with yourself, a exploration game. Let's see what I can feel today if I touch myself here. You know, start from here. Let me see what I can feel if I touch myself from here. Let me see where in my body I can feel it. Let me see where the sensations come. If I just touch myself here, right? Start from your little tippy, from right here. Explore your body. Explore it like a puzzle piece. Oh, yeah. We love you. Thank you so much, Queen, for your presence. Every single time, you're amazing, Nana. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your wisdom, boo. I love you all. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. Anyone else have some last words or words that they want to share with everyone from aha moments you got today? Just about it. yeah a big aha moment it was that that we are taught how to be a woman how to be a man mm -hmm. but we don't know it you know they just put that in our head like you have to be like this if you are a woman or you have to be like this stuff to be a man but you just do those things and you realize i don't feel anything what's going on I, i'm not a woman i just feel weird doing these things so uh yeah and i just said about that uh huge sexual energy that uh came through my body and i was like what's going on what's happening it was so strange to me but i realized i'm a woman i need those energies i'm i'm a, i'm energy so mm -hmm. it was it's very different of what we are thought and what we experience and when we experience it's strange and you don't know what's going on and you have to um reprogram your mind and uh yeah, yeah wow. that was a big aha moment for me awesome awesome tiff amanda only if you have something if you don't it's fine it's fine 
Um, it's really interesting now. It's very aligned. It feels very aligned that we are diving into this right now because I am at a point in my life where I'm ready to go to those deeper places for to to heal my yoni and the energy within her um, because that was another part of the the thing that came through for me um, leading up to the new moon and um, because you know that's connected to creativity um, and um and actually like I don't remember how many weeks ago now but I told my I had told my husband that you know we weren't doing anything for a while because I just need to there's some stuff that I need to do um yeah and and so I love that we're that we're talking about this because um yeah there's there's a lot there to unpack and yeah um not just for me but for 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 women yeah. so um yeah yeah it's time to face yeah. these things. It's time. It's time. Mm -hmm. So that they can heal. Yes, yeah, so that we can heal. Queen D. <laughs> I'll be everywhere, okay? So I'm in the chat. I want to um, say we see you, Misty and Tink. We love you both so, so much. Um, my aha was when um angela when you said when you go to a different level on a game how you don't bring that old stuff and the memory that dropped in my mind um i was in the anime show and the tower of heaven mm. and they were a bunch of pe different people uh, well, beings, because they were diff. They weren't just human. They were all types of things, and they were at a point to where to go up to the next level in this tower. They had to literally walk through this wall of energy, and some of them didn't have enough strength to walk through it. But what I visualized was that the wall itself was literally not letting the ones with baggage come through. Mm. So that was my visualization. So we should envision each doorway in our house, especially the front door. Don't walk in your house bringing that baggage from outside. Don't walk into your bedroom with that baggage. Don't walk into the bathroom with that baggage. Because of course, there's still sometimes that other baggage be, be, sneaking, be sneaking in, right? <laughs> I'm gonna look like joy <laughs> so I can walk through the energy. No boo. So every doorway in your house, visualize it as an invisible energy field that you have to leave that baggage outside that room. So that, that was my last words and my aha moment that I wanted to share with all of you. Wow, excellent. Oh my goodness. All right, so Spirit told me, we're going we to end this with some music. Everyone, we trust that you all have a blessed day full of love and light. Feel the music in your heart. 
Know that you are worthy. Know that you are everything that the Almighty Creator made you to be. And I want you to feel this joy today. I want you to uplift yourself. I want you to set your intentions, those positive, beautiful dreams. Know that they came from you because they are part of the divine. And they're a part of us all. So live your life. Love who you are. Smile today. Dance. Love you all dearly.